in a two-part video series. I would like to share with you two ways that might improve brightness and contrast while observing with your Dobson and telescope that don't require you to get new gear. The first part focused on cleaning the primary and the secondary mirror. And if you haven't watched that one yet, you should do it after this video. The second video will be all about flocking the optical tube. Since you're already removing the mirrors, you might as well do both steps at the same time. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Bogdan Damian and welcome to Video Observatory. A nice, inexpensive and relatively easy way to improve contrast and reduce unwanted internal reflections is to flock the inside of the optical tube. This involves applying a thin, light-absorbing material on the entire inner surface of the optical tube. By absorbing nearly all stray light that isn't perpendicular to the primary mirror, flocking virtually eliminates reflections of the tube walls. While this won't drastically alter the view, it provides a subtle yet important improvement in contrast. When you're trying to discern fine details on celestial objects, every little bit of enhancement counts. For this, you will need one to two hours of free time, a pair of scissors and of course the velour film. I have done this while the primary and the secondary mirrors were out for cleaning, which saved me the extra work of taking everything out a second time and collimating the telescope twice. If you're thinking of cleaning your mirrors as well, I encourage you to check out my other video in this mini-series as well. Alright, let's get to work. Depending on your telescope, whether it's a solid tube or a partially open one like mine, and depending on the velour material, your workflow might vary a bit, but the steps should essentially be the same and you will need to decide for yourself how to best cut up the film so you can easily apply it on the inside of the tube. Here I'm working on a 10 inch flex tube from Skywatcher and the first steps are to remove both the primary and the secondary mirror. Start with the primary. For this, place the telescope on a low coffee table like this one and start unscrewing every single screw holding the mirror cell in place. Also, take a bit of masking tape to mark the initial position of the mirror cell. Once done, pick up the tube and gently lift it over the mirror and place it on the ground. Now take the mirror and put it somewhere safe until you are done with the optical tube. Next, it's the secondary mirror that needs to be taken out. First, mark down the exact orientation of the mirror, as this will save you some time later on when trying to align the secondary mirror with the focuser. I actually forgot to do this in this video, and I had a bit more work when collimating the telescope afterwards. To take the mirror out, loosen all three collimation screws until the mirror only hangs by the central screw. Then, with one hand, gently grab it and completely detach it from the central support. Here, don't forget to grab the tension spring while removing the mirror from its support. Now tilt the empty tube and find a comfortable position so you can apply the velour material. Before I start the process, I cut up four equal pieces of material for the bottom part of the optical tube and two pieces for the top part.
when you arrive at the front of the optical tube, you have the possibility to remove the spider arms holding the secondary mirror altogether, or work your way around them. I went for the latter, which made the job a bit more difficult, but not by much. Working my way around the focuser proved to be a bit tricky with all the protruding screws, but with a bit of creative cutting I managed to get the job done. As a final step in the whole process, before putting everything back together, I also decided to apply some of the velour material to the outside areas of the secondary mirror, in an effort to reduce any light bouncing off the bright sides of the mirror. Now that everything is done, it's time to put everything back together. For this, start with attaching the secondary, followed by the primary mirror, and work your way through the steps you've done before, just in reverse order. After everything is the way it was before, the only remaining thing is to collimate a telescope. If you need help with this, I encourage you to check out my video on this topic. I'll leave a link in the description below. Alright, that's been it. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one.